I'll turn your world upside down. Prepare to burn. You are not prepared. He said the thing! He said the thing! Usually, when we start BlizzCon, the opening call is to my favorite Warcraft faction, the Alliance. Nice, very or good. My favorite faction, the Horde. I, I get confused. Usually, I'd be speaking to 40,000 from World of Warcraft. We'll be showing you what's next for both Shadowlands and Classic. I'm sure you're all burning in anticipation for that one. Yes, we all have Hearthstone. Herminia. Let's hear what's next for World of Warcraft. Here it comes. Here it comes, chat. Is this it? Is it official? Hello, everyone. Thanks for joining us today. No matter where you I are, like this guy a lot. World of Warcraft unites us all. Whether you're exploring the Shadowlands, classic Azeroth, or another part of the Blizzard universe, I'm glad you could make it. But first, let's start with some Covenant pride. The news, thank you for the tier Kyrian, one. take flight. Kyrian, Night that's phase. me. Let the hunt begin. Necrologs to war. He has wholesome dad energy. Isn't it? Let's party. Let's recap the events in Azeroth. In WoW Classic, we fought an endless battle for South Shore and Tarin Mill. We banded together to open the gates of Ankara and joined forces to take down Kel'Thuzad in his floating citadel of Naxxramas. Yeah, that bitch. In Shadowlands, we helped anymore. our covenant recover from the anima drought, brought on by Sire Denathrius, master of the Vinthyr, really and painful. traitor to the pantheon of death. We survived the halls of Torghast and crafted legendary gear in our efforts to expel Denathrius from his castle lair. He's Grandpa Shroud. But innocent souls are Wait, what still the hell? wrongfully being sent to the Maw. They Wait, face since when does Shroud's dad work for Blizzard? And like the Jailer continues to grow <laughs> in power. <laughs> He's preparing to break free from the Maw and complete his plan to unmake the entire Warcraft <laughs> universe. And Sylvanas, you may be wondering what she's been up to all this time. Today, we're excited to unveil our first major content update for Shadowlands, Chains of Domination. Chains of Domination, fan. Look around you. What makes you believe you're not just a weapon to achieve his ends? Enough. Join our cause or be made to serve. Right now, you hold all the power. Make your choice, Sylvanas Windrunner. Oh, frick. The choice will be made. Coming soon. Despite all our efforts, the Maw continues to grow. What if Denathrius' treachery is irreparable? The Primus is lost, and Bastion cannot save the Shadowlands alone. None of this should have happened. Perhaps the Winter Queen could... My Archon, a living soul, seeks an audience. A mortal. A king, that by all our measures. One who has spent his life striving for justice. One who would Luther. give anything to serve his people. Watch it on Twitch, there's a delay. One whose heart is true. Very well. He may approach. Step forward. My Ascended have spoken of you. The King held captive in the Maw. That prison could not hold me forever. Why have you come to Bastion? You have a key that I need. You will release this soul from your grasp. No. 
He is bound to me, just as you were sought to buy your own brother. Wait, what? Question mark? I'm so lost. What the hell? Did he? So now he... The vessel performed its part flawlessly. of domination. What the frick? So that that Andrew is so a bad intense. guy. I know you probably have a lot of questions about what you just saw and what it means for the next stage of your Shadowlands journey. Later today, my teammates Ian and Jeremy he re will be telling Death you more Come about on. Chains of Domination in our Shadowlands update. Classic players, now it's your turn. It's my pleasure to hand off to my teammate, Holly Longdale. She's a longtime WoW Karen player, Tinder, the prime, a veteran the MMO Blanca. developer, and she's going to tell us what's subs. in store Shadow, for, for WoW Classic. Here it comes. Here it comes. Hi, everybody. First, I'd like to thank all of you who have ever been part of the WoW community over the years. When I jumped blindly through the dark portal and was running through Hellfire Peninsula, heard this terrifying noise, and then saw the Fell Reaver. Boom. Biggest Boom. roamer Boom. I had ever seen. And I was very glad I had feigned death in that moment. And that's the thing about WoW. These stories and experiences we all Dude, I'm share waiting for this background to change into like Illidan. Time after time. Let's go. Said, where is it? I'm super excited to be able to share with you where our adventures are taking us next. I have stuff to complain about for. Oh, here it is. Prepare for the next classic adventure. Here it is, dude. You dare enter my realm. Beyond the dark board. There it is, dude. It's official. Shatra. Yeah. It's official. Uh. It is official. Prepare. <laughs> I'm surprised, Bogoo! Prepare to take flight. Prepare to crusade! Nice! Your foolishness has brought you to this end. Take my blood and choke on it. Death to the outsiders. I'll turn your world upside down. Prepare to burn. You are not prepared. He said the thing! He said the thing! Dark Portal reopens 2021. There it is, dude. Brings back so many memories, right? There it is. Like exploring the fungal forests of Zangar Marsh or being awestruck at the chaotic magic alive in Netherstorm, the Draenei in Exodar, 
the Blood Elves in Silvermoon. I love playing them both. Do you choose to enlist the Aldor or the Scryers in your quest to fight the Legion? And of course, we can't forget gathering all your friends to fight Illidan at the top of the Black Temple. I can't wait to relive it all with you. Since the team first set out on their own quest to bring the original WoW back to life, we have learned a ton about what players are expecting from this kind of experience. We've also learned when to were keep they things just as they was. were, and where we all might be open to some changes. We're bringing yes. all these lessons into Burning Crusade Thank Classic, you. with our primary goal Thank you. to bring back the same feeling you had about damn when you time. faced the Fel about when damn you were time. digging they through listen. piles of Fellhound poop. Of course, we can't get this right without you, our incredible community. Don't read Reddit. Soon, you'll be able to Don't revisit read Outland yourself when beta starts and tell us what you think. Later, all WoW Classic players are going to be presented with a meaningful choice for each one of your beloved characters. Do you want to move on into Burning Crusade Classic? Or do you want to stay in the original classic era forever? Whatever you decide, you can do it all with your one WoW subscription. Now, I know I've thrown a lot at you, but don't worry. We'll be getting into the details in our panel later today. So stick with us. We'll make sure you are Prepared. Mm, no copy. Another interesting change Birmingham is specific to paladins, which are present in classic, but were added to Horde and Burning Crusade. When that happened, a Horde paladins were given an ability called Seal of Blood. Alliance paladins were given Seal of Vengeance. The abilities Birmingham said were intended to be equal in power but distinct, but that didn't pan out. Seal of Blood was far more powerful, so with Burning Crusade Classic, both factions will learn the opposite faction's version of the seal at level 70. Alliance Paladins are getting Seal of Blood, dude. It been hard to imagine. That is so big for PvE. That is so big. The complaining paid off, dude. Nice. There is so much that we're working on. Huge. They actually listened, dude. They actually listened. We look forward to talking to you about it. Dude, when the time is I've right. spent hours, chat. Just like the real world. I have spent, I'm world. gonna go into this article whenever I get a chance. Start I've spent hours in conversations with people complaining Overwatch, about some of this stuff, Carson, about the bosses being first, too nerfed. Expansive. Oh, and dude. Potential. Dude, I'm well, so ecstatic about, about them coming out and finally watch. saying that about Burning Crusade. For those of you looking I'm so for happy, dude. On, so let's get into some of those details. Nice. Okay, so here we go. Here we go. Here we go. This has been, uh, that we don't actually want to ship on the old code. And the reason for that is because it is uh, it's got a lot of bugs and uh, and difficulties with the architecture that we don't want to we don't want to have to deal with. But we do want that old data. And we talked about this when we did the original launch of Classic was how the data is really the thing that describes how the game is supposed to be played and what things are supposed to happen in it. And right. so we want to bring that old data and we want to run it on the modern code, the same as we did for classic. And uh, there's like 750,000 rows of data <laughs> Dude, that we not have to even go 800. through and convert from their old formats to their new formats. When the team gets together, we're preparing for a play test and we go to create our characters and we see uh, this blood elf who you know, he remembers the sun well. Oh, he remembers he it his pants. real good. Yeah? Uh, <laughs> so everything didn't work the first time? <laughs> <laughs> what? Yeah. I know. Yeah, I did mention, like, uh, we had to go Sabotage. through and check for problems in those conversion scripts. <laughs> and so, yeah, sure, sure enough, uh, what's going on here is, uh, no is this guy thinks he's dressed, but he isn't. And you can see why he thinks he's dressed if you Does look down Does that happen this. to you a lot? <laughs> Only in my high school dreams. <laughs> <laughs> you can see, the, if you look at his calves, you can see that he's got the, the, they're flared out because he thinks he's wearing boots. And what, the way the system works is we uh, we first set the geometry up for all the items that you're supposed to be wearing, and then we layer on various images that we call textures, and we use those to build up a single composite texture that's then wrapped around the geometry. But of course, in this case, when we were layering them on, none of the textures were assigned, so it just started with his, uh, you know, naked body, and then was going to go layer on textures and didn't find any. We actually had a lot of requests originally for spell batching in that kind of no cha changes charge, mm -hmm. uh, where they said, hey, I remember when I used to be able to have two mages polymorph one another. And remember what I said polymorph. about this? And I'm talking that's about that cute later. and fun, and I kind of like that. <laughs> and so we said, okay, well, we can put that back in. But the system that causes that is, of course, that the spells are batched up and, and processed in these you know giant batches. But over the last two years, people realized that what that comes with is about a half a second of, uh, of 
kind of built-in latency. It should be 200 milliseconds. And it doesn't actually take effect for, uh, for it's, that half a it's second. It's way too big. Waiting to queue 200 up the milliseconds. To go with it. And people were starting to find that frustrating. I talked to a lot of people who said they were excited about it when it first came out with Classic, but after they've Not been playing for two years, 200. they're really ready to see it go, uh, go. And we're ready to take it out too. So we're going to remove spell batching with Burning Crusade. That's that's definitely great because I remember like every two weeks I get a bug report, Vanish is broken again. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and it was, it was because of stuff like this, right? Like yeah. if you vanish at the same time a fireball's hitting you, yeah. it's going to pop you out, right? Exactly. Like, and, and so we were trying to do all these tacky solutions to it. But the real answer is just don't, don't spell batch. Yeah. Um, but we didn't have the ability to do that then. So <laughs> glad we're doing it now. Yeah. You know, another one that I, I think with the batching, uh, the, the only way sure, right? that it like, works if they completely remove it, if there's certain um, interactions in that maintain. 2005 timelines uh, compared to today. So, um, you know, the, the rating community knows exactly what's going on and they want a challenge. They want more of a challenge. So, you know, rather than always giving them like the last version of the boss, the final form of the boss, which maybe is been hit with a few nerfs, uh, let's not do that anymore. Let's give them a more uh, challenging version of the boss. Like, uh, I'll give you an example of, of like uh, Muru. Right, where the initial version of that boss had a lot of spell pushback, um, and so I didn't do like, this back in the day. It really tough to bring casting. I know a little bit about it, but fight. I didn't. I didn't uh, do this. We did this. fix that pretty quickly and 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 change the fight to allow for. But that. they are doing now, it. That's a change we probably would incorporate in this, right? Like we don't want people to feel excluded or not part of being able to do to do a fight like that. But then probably a month or so after that, we nerfed Mover's health. Um, that doesn't need to happen. Let's just nice. let's just keep it in the hard form. Nice. We can evaluate any changes we need to make after that. But uh, yeah, it won't just be like, hey, final form. We're not even going to look at it. Let's call it a day. So. Yeah. So how how did your mage handle the pushback? Uh, I just, I just <laughs> get sad. It feels on the bench. personal. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was the raid leader, so I got the shit she wanted. The one mage allowed to go. <laughs> that was. They that need was, to honestly, time gate tier five. Too. They need to time <laughs> gate really Serpent Shrine Cavern and Tempest Keep. Awesome. <laughs> Another change that we're talking about making is uh, along the lines of that uh, PVP balance and faction balance is, uh, mm -hmm. you know. Obviously, with Burning Crusade, uh, Paladins are introduced to the Horde and Shamans Drake. are introduced to the Alliance. And that was intended Brian, to be a balancing of the factions and let's you know make them even. Let's and then they wanted Brian. to kind of keep a little bit of flavor of that faction identity. So they kept Seal of Blood on the Horde That's and right. Seal of Vengeance on the Alliance. It was intended to be equivalent power abilities that were just slightly different in flavor. But in retrospect, Seal of Blood was just so much better. Mm -hmm. And so one of the changes that we are going to make is we are going to give the opposite faction's seal to the other faction. Uh, but we're going to do that at max level. So we keep just a little bit of there. that faction identity where Horde will get Seal of Blood at level 64 uh, on about. schedule and then get Seal of Vengeance at level 70. And similarly, Alliance will get Seal of Vengeance at level 64 and then their equivalent, Seal of the Martyr, at level 70. Another thing we want to talk about I'm is uh, about. arena teams. When it first came out in uh, in Burning Crusade, the arena team system now, only Blood let will you still have be better in the PvP, same number of players on at your least team in PvE that was the size of the bracket it was for. Oh, so, right. for example... Yeah. A 3v3 team can only have three players on the team. So if someone was like sick or unavailable one night, you couldn't play. And that felt really frustrating. So we're definitely going to go with like the last version of that where you could have twice the size of the bracket on your team roster so that you had alternates you could swap in and out. Oh, yeah, And, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, and then yeah. that way, if, as yeah, long yeah. as anybody had participated in, I think, 30% yeah. of the matches, then they got the full credit for the week of participation. Yeah. So when we did personal ratings versus team ratings? I think that came later, and we're also considering whether or not we want to do yeah. something with that as well. Because I do think this is a legitimate discussion. This is a very legitimate discussion. The way that the, uh, the ELO system was so inflationary. And so we're talking about whether right, or not yeah. we want to move forward with uh, with converting that to something more like the modern MMR system, so that it isn't uh, isn't as, as punishing to people in terms of like waiting hours for this a match a at the highest level, discussion. things like that. And very another change, uh, we we're going to uh, give players access to Blood Elf and Draenei early, so that before we actually open the dark oh, portals, nice. you'll have a chance to le level those up. That's definitely not something we did originally. Good. <laughs> yeah. I, yeah. yeah, I remember I had a friend At first who I was really against this. But the rest Given of us that were all Seal of Blood and he was like, is going I'm still to back in the lands. Yeah. I think it's a good change. This is good. Yeah, this is a good patch. Yeah. When can I play with you guys? So yeah, I'm really good. Very good. Yeah. Doing that with pre-patch. Yes. Yeah, that's the plan. Oh, there it is. Yeah, pre patch will come out there and you'll be able to go start your huge, huge dude. Content. So we've got some phases happening. Huge. Yeah. yeah. So the content phases that we got coming are exciting. <laughs> uh, we're going to start with uh, Karazhan and uh, and Gruul's Lair please, and Magtheron's Lair. Please, time gate, please. And we want to start with just that uh, released because we Thank found with you. Classic that people oh really enjoy their gosh. kind of gear progression. Thank you. And that's where all the Tier 4 gear oh, is with those, those raids. 
And we want people to have oh, an opportunity beautiful. to level up, catch up to their friends, and all kind of go through these things together. So as we unlock each chapter, we want to make sure everybody's had enough time to, dude, to, to be part of that Dude, this is everything I've been chapter. asking for, And dude. the next chapter after that will be phase two, phase which will two, be Serpent Shrine Cavern and Tempest, and Tempest yep. Keep. Yeah. Then next we move on oh, to phase dude, three, so pumped. which is Hyjal and the Black Temple. Um, and the reason that's a change is, of course, originally yeah. Hyjal was, uh, was available from the launch of Burning Crusade, mm -hmm. but nobody could really get in there because of the way the attunements work. So we'll unlock that as a later chapter alongside Black Temple. And then uh, that'll go with Arena Season 2 at that point. And then Arena Season 3 will be come four out phases, Zulamon, four seasons. With a bit of catch up gear for anybody who's taken that long to catch up. Uh, it's an, another, <laughs> Beautiful. Uh, four phases, four seasons. Uh, and then finally, Phase 5 will be Sunwell and Arena Season 4. It's been a very content. busy year. Hey, you skipped. Yeah. <laughs> you five. It is. It's an expansion five. with a lot of in it. Yes. A lot in it. And so we spent a lot of time talking about Burning Crusade Classic and Burning Crusade. Did he skip four? Which is exciting. We're very excited about it. But there's a lot to talk about. There's a lot coming. And we want to yeah. walk through how this is going to materialize. Four was well, a yeah, really Oh, it's, it's going to be like know, a mini. We have a okay, player base where people have a lot of different that, that's wants and needs. It's like, yeah, um, and, and how do we get there? How that's we get good. To, that's to good. The Burning Crusade. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, the first group of people that we wanted to make sure that we were serving well um, is is those people who do want to go to the Burning Crusade. We feel that most of the community is interested in this. They're going to want to do this. We want to make it simple and easy. Space Force catch up. Yeah. So how are we going to do that? As we said earlier, you're going to be able to make a choice. So we'll, we'll talk about and explore these choices in some detail, and I'll give you some examples. <laughs> so um, to start with, with uh, the current servers you're on now, classic live servers, are going to become what we're calling progression servers. And what that means is the servers that are live now will always unlock any expansion we release. So when we get to our patch day, you're going to be presented with a choice. Do you want to continue on, on into give me the this. Burning Crusade? Give me this. I drew it out earlier to today. Give me to this. So in that space, you're going to do that for every single character. So for my example, I'm on Worm, Worm Rest Accord. Mm -hmm. So I've got a level 60. I am definitely taking that on through mm -hmm. to Burning Crusade. But I've got a couple of mid-levels that I know I want to move with my friends. Those are characters I, I level with my friends in class and I want to continue that journey with them. We want to make it as easy and seamless as possible to just get right into Burning Crusade, but there are options. That's, that's awesome. I'm excited to hear that. Uh, I, I know um, there's a lot of my friends, for example, who, who maybe um, didn't really play Classic when it first came out, right? And so now they're behind, um, and they're interested in playing the Burning Crusade. This was, Boosts. for a lot of people, their, their favorite expansion that we've mm -hmm. done. Um, <sighs> Uh, I, sure I, I have to think about this boost too. thing. Uh, and one of the ways we could do that is provide a, a boost mm -hmm. uh, to, to people who are interested in coming back that maybe aren't interested in doing the, the classic I think if they do really more than one right boost, is not good. As possible. Yeah, so uh, the team, we spent quite a bit of time discussing it. It is only one We now? want to make sure we respect the time of the people that, uh, that have been playing classic for two years. But also... <laughs> We want people to be able to enjoy Burning Crusade if they loved it the first time and maybe miss classics. So we are going to offer a level 58 bo boost for purchase, but it does come with some restrictions. So it's going to be one per account. Okay. Um, it's not going to be usable on Blood Elf or Drain Eye. Good. Um, it'll have some dungeon blues. It'll have level 40 mount skill, no professions. It's the basics. Basically your Outland starting kit. Uh, that's cool. That's, I mean, that's a really great... Way to jump into the game for yeah. sure. Yeah, I like that. I'll, I'll be looking forward to that. Uh, I, look, I know a lot of people came back to play WoW Classic, and that's all they want. They, that's all they ever wanted. They, they're like, <laughs> you know what? Burning Crusade, that's awesome. I'm sure some people are going to love that. But for me, I came back for WoW Classic. Um, what, what, what do they get to do? What's their option? I yeah, want that was this. Really important this is what I want to happen. Yeah. So, I hope, I hope um, this is we, it. We had all sat down and discussed like how we should frame this. So when we get to our patch day, which is prior to uh, the Dark Portal opening, when I said before, like, I'll go back to my example for Worm Rest, um, we will be launching Classic Era Realms at the same time as we do our patch. So when you make the choice to go to Burning Crusade Classic, or you make the choice, like on my example, my level 40 druid, I want to move that character to Classic Era. And what is Classic Era there. means is that those particular servers are going to stay in that era forever. So that 
is going to remain classic till the end of time. But I know that for me, it is it really is going to be like that that pull to go to both places. So I want to be able to say like, you know what? I'm willing to pay some money for this. I want a copy of my character that lives in classic era forever. Okay, while I would do I that. Also, go to Burning Crusade with that mm -hmm. with that character. Okay, perfect. And that way, I can stay with my friends who are really excited to go to Karazhan. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm really excited to go to Karazhan. I want to see my hunter <laughs> go through Karazhan. But if I'm missing like a couple pieces of my tier three set from Naxxramas, I still have an opportunity to go find a new guild there and and go through Naxxramas mm -hmm. again until I finish that set. We're going to be spending a lot of time communicating these details. So yeah. even as much detail as we're giving now, it's very high level. There's going to be I a lot like more I feel like that's something that should not so, be paid. Uh, keep an ear out. But with that said, yeah, that's something that should just so offer. Hot. Mm -hmm. When's all this happening? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> this is soon. Yay! Yeah. So, so yeah, this is something that, you know, is important to get. Pe people are still playing through Next Ramus. We want to make sure that they have enough time to do that. Um, but what we are looking at, uh, this, this will be happening in 2021. Uh, for sure, we are committed to doing that. Um, and what we're looking at is, is starting the beta rather soon. Mm -hmm. uh, so hopefully that beta will go up and we'll get that running. The community can come and participate, help us out. Um, we'll start to hear some feedback on the things we've talked about today. Uh, if there's any adjustments we need to make, we want to make sure we have a long enough beta period for mm -hmm. that to happen. Uh, and then we'll get that out to the players so you can all enter the dark portal. Yay! Yeah, it's exciting. <laughs> <laughs> so any final, final words? Yeah, I just uh, well, I, I just talked about the beta, and you know, I, I will say just to the community, you all uh, have been so instrumental in making Classic the success that it has been, um, and you will be equally instrumental in making the Burning Crusade a tremendous success, also. Um, so please get in that beta, play, <laughs> give us your feedback. We want to hear all about it. So um, enjoy, welcome, and let's have some fun. Yay! Yeah, and it's Pretty been good. the highlight of my professional career to work on. Wild I don't Classic have beta and keys. Have the support and love of this is five dollars. Uh, it is really special <laughs> to me, and I'm really excited to be sharing this with all of you uh, in the Burning Crusade. Yeah, and for me, um, I'm I've been playing Classic since it it launched, um, and I wasn't working at Blizzard then, um, and it's changed my life, obviously. Mm -hmm. <laughs> So uh, from me and the entire WoW team, uh, we want to thank you for bringing Azeroth to life for us. So we will definitely be seeing you in game in whatever flavor you choose. <laughs> and until then, stay classic. So uh, here's here's where I'm at with this. Uh, new store mount, Pogu, okay, whatever, who cares. Um, so let me explain what I, I was hoping they were gonna explain. I think they're gonna do this and I think they should do this is I think they should go through classic, Burning Crusade, Wrath, whatever, right? Each time it switches. What the hell? Fen? Wait, wait, what? Wait, what the? Ah, the clarion call of adventure. Oh, man. World of Warcraft. I'm in. Oh, I'm so in. I knew you'd call. Warcraft. About bloody time. Axes. Heroes. That looks so bad. That looks so bad. Oh my god. That looks so bad. <laughs> Christian, it's been ages. <laughs> Scuffed of DK. <laughs> Wait, Tim? That was Tim! This is important to me, chat. <laughs> I just... Moving on to additional updates within Chains of Domination, fans of the Operation Mechagon Mega Dungeon from our previous patches will be happy to learn that we are once again bringing back the concept of the Mega Dungeon. A Mega Dungeon is an eight boss dungeon. I trust that needs no explanation. So let's move on to the rewards. 
The rewards of this mega dungeon include things that we will only see within broker culture, some very special broker pets, including a broker-themed cat. We can capture some of the rats that scurry around within the broker trading city, and we'll get to see one of the pets that the brokers actually use as a currency, these strange worms that are found <laughs> on another world and have scintillating eyes that are gem-like. It's sort of like a living sign of your wealth for the high ends of the broker cartels. You might be able to purchase one of those within the dungeon or fight an enemy in order to obtain one of them. And we'll be able to obtain the broker's special oh. and interesting disc mount with a fly around our trading city. Let's move on to <laughs> That's the thing that should matter. Oh yeah, by the way, you can also We've get weapons. We've been fighting hard Where to gain on? renown with our covenants. Hello? My natural feeling towards that is, hey, I don't like that they're adding in a character boost. But I'm really trying to th think through this and look at all the pros and cons. Pros, people who did not play Burning Crusade Classic, able to come in, or sorry, people not play Classic can come in and then play Burning Crusade Classic and they're not too far behind. I do think a boost kind of kills the old world a little bit, uh, but it's only one per account. Now here's the thing, nowadays, dude, some of these guys, they don't care. They will go buy another account Still and they will go buy Diablo a boost. Still play Diablo 2, excited for Resurrected. Yeah, that's what I we're gonna watch I think you'll right like now. it. I, I think I will too. I'm very excited. Hype train. Uh, but you'll get going dungeon to start boosted anyways. Playing classic to level for BC. Maybe is I don't Crusade know. Is Crusade or Whittle Crusade still recruiting? If so, who do I whisper? Sorry if it's an odd question. I started playing in TBC, but I was only eight, so all I did was explore the world. Great memories. Less than three. Uh, yeah, Crusade. Uh, Whittle Crusade is still around. People can invite in there. Uh, but I don't know who's online that can invite Classic Cat. But yeah, Crusade is still recruiting too, and, and we're planning on sticking with Crusade and Feralina through, through Burning Crusade right now. Uh, my natural feeling is that I don't like it, but I'm thinking it through. I think what's bad is that people will buy multiple accounts and get multiple boosts, and then uh, have characters to use for like primal transmutes and stuff like that. That's what I'm worried about. You know? But then again, like people were saying, people just boost anyway. They do dungeon boosts and stuff anyways now. And there's bots, and there's like a whole nother problem. Um, so how do you fix it, right? Maybe if you have paid boosts, then there's less reason. You'll see less bots doing dungeon boosts and stuff like that of people because you have paid Hope boosts. Paul is doing because people well would just rather to pay than have to deal with the botting movie hotel I don't know. I'm on, I can invite on Hellraiser. Yeah, yeah, Battle of Bunch is on Hellraiser, and he can invite to Whittle Crusade if you're looking for a leveling guild on Feralina. So, for example, people buy and sell gold right now that's botted, right? Botted gold. Like, you have bots farm gold, this and that. They go put it on the website, and people buy the gold, and gold selling and stuff is an issue in Classic WoW. Uh, and the reason why they put in the WoW token in the first place is to not have to deal with that. So, like, the most effective thing to counter bots and buying and selling gold is to just put the WoW token in because somebody still has to, because I think a lot of people don't understand how the WoW token works, myself included initially. Because people have to go and they have to farm the gold themselves and then they purchase the gold off the auction house or they purchase the token off the auction house with the thing. The purpose of the 58 boost is for players that are new to Burning Crusade to be able to come in and play. 